What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com and the Press Telegram. It's Mike, and this highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place for your next team event. Long Beach Poly Jackrabbit sitting atop the Moore League standings tied with Wilson. They're at Lakewood trying to keep this Moore League streak rolling. And uh, Poly, uh, tactical, very tactical. Take notes, this may be the most complicated pregame routine I've ever seen. Meanwhile, Michelle Robertson, the class goalie for the Lancers and the rest of that Lakewood team, hoping for an upset here as they host the Jackrabbits. And this is Lakewood's game. They pulled Wilson into it. They want you to be frustrated. They want to earn free kicks and take the ball away from you. They did an effective job of that for much of the game against Polly. The Jackrabbits, meanwhile, a lot of near misses. Certainly plenty of opportunities that didn't quite get in. This one does. Skyler Herrera in the 12th minute. The only reason I include this clip, I uh, obviously missed a goal, is so that you can see Lakewood looking for an offsides call. That would end up being kind of a theme of the day. There's a lot of big swings on offsides calls. Here, Amanda Fernbach playing that game, like I said, draws the foul, earns the free kick for Taylor Miller, who had excellent service all day, and she's going to get the equalizer for the Lancers just a minute after Polly scored. So we've really got a game here as it's 1-1 to in the 13th minute. Polly obviously going to look to strike back as quickly as possible. And 12 minutes later, a little conference over the ball, you know, just talking some things over, maybe weekend plans, study hall. And then a big boomer. From Sarah Pilster, Beast Mode, the ricochet falls to Tavia Leachman. Christmas is either a little bit late or really, really early as the soon-to-be pride of Utah gets a gift at her feet and puts it home to give the Jackrabbits the 2-1 lead in the 23rd minute. Polly searching for the finisher with their uh, quality of defense. Another goal would pretty much put this away, but they couldn't find it as Artria Williams just a little bit over the crossbar. Emily Knaus is going to put a good opportunity forward here and not be able to connect. And then Robertson for Lakewood was ready for the moment. She did not let anything else pass her this day. As Lakewood uh, feeling pretty good down only 2-1 at halftime. If they can get another opportunity, another free kick opportunity, they feel good about their chances. That's what Scott Manson's telling his squad. Jack Rabbit's still trying to shut the door. But Lakewood just gets the tip of the lance in there, wedged in to keep Polly from closing the door. Robertson... The one holding it open by not letting in another goal. Tavia Leachman, a wonderful run. But Polly just not quite on target today. Here it looks like Polly is going to put it away as Artria Williams with the nice move to get around the edge. And then get it to Herrera who had the foot, but it's called offside. So the flag's up, that one doesn't go in. There was not an earthquake in the 60th minute of this game to my knowledge, but the field does completely tip in the other direction. Lakewood playing very hard to try and earn the tie. As Miller goes from taking tests the week before finals to giving them. Lancers trying to make something happen, certainly not afraid to try the poly keeper, put the ball on frame. This another great chance is Akilah McClinton, almost two saves here for Polly to keep that one from going in. But less than five minutes in the game, Miller trying to find Katie Oberjean, Obi Trice, real name, no gimmick, and it's in, but no, it's disallowed on an offsides call. Lakewood just obviously heartbroken. I wish I could do a making a murderer shot analysis here. But I don't really have the shot, obviously, as you can see, uh, to see whether that's a legit offsides call or not. Either way, tough result for Lakewood, who certainly earned this great game, really giving Polly, the defending Moore League champs, everything they could handle in a tough 2-1 win for the Jackrabbits at Lakewood. We'd like to thank our newest sponsor, Long Beach Transit. Their route number one now stops at Cal State Dominguez Hills, South Bay Pavilion, and the StubHub Center, home of your LA Galaxy. Obviously, the Moore League soccer season turning out to be a wild one. To find out what happens, you're going to have to keep it right here.